Alrighty, everybody. It looks like we're getting ready for our women's doubles final here. We've already taken our diddle between uh, these wonderful ladies and Julie Wagger, Stacy Pace, Paula Murphy, and Danny Warmack. William Stewart here of USA Darts Productions, joined by Scott Hannish. Scott, how's it going? Fantastic, buddy. Fantastic. Good to hear. How's this weekend treated you? It has actually been a blast. Darts have been good. Uh, actually, really well, really well ran event here. Um, had a great time so far. Yeah, definitely uh, a nice event to come to if you're uh, thinking about it. You definitely want to. I think it was a little scoring error there. Yeah, 60 instead of 6 there. There we go. Correction. But, uh, yeah, it's definitely a well-run event. The ADO does a fantastic job with this. they got a nice tournament tournament staff. Um, but, uh, you know, definitely need to mark it down as your one of your bucket list items. I mean, there's so many quality shots in the room, some coming from across the Canadian border. Um, I go, we had one from Mongolia come in the mix, but usually we have a little bit more than that, but due to the circumstances, yeah. we totally understand, so... Absolutely no excuse. I think there's like 15 people here from Alaska that drove. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fairly certain. A lady yesterday that I played showed me her Nissan GTR that she drove 3,500 miles in. And That's just <laughs> crazy, isn't it? Oh, my goodness. But, yeah. hey, it just shows you how dedicated some people are to go play some darts or to get involved yeah. on the scene. So... How about that? One Ooh, big nice one, shot. 40 there for Danny. The Scott from the South Dakota area, correct? Absolutely. Near the, Elliot, near the Elliot Milk side of things. Yep, he's about an hour, hour and a half from me. So we run into each other every once in a while. Just every once in a while. <laughs> he's won about everything. There is the win, so he doesn't go to tournaments like you would think he does. So, hell of a shot. Well, he does. He has a. I think he's a. Was he? Is he a warden? Is that right? Uh, he works at the prison out there, I believe, in Lake Andes. There. Um, yeah, he's been doing that. Leander, that I travel with, they work together for a while. Willard, Willard Brigier, they all work together. Good old Willie J. Mag Elliott's the only one standing still. Everybody else has moved on. I see, I see, I see. Well, we all have things that we like to do, and that's the thing about darts is a game that you can uh, always pick up again and continue on. That's uh, the thing about it. So, uh, I mean, you look at somebody like Paula Murphy. She's been on the scene for quite some time. I don't know if she's taking a little bit of time off or not, but look at these averages right now. A nice, tasty 76.75 and an 87.60 in this women's doubles 5-1 final. Granted, the first leg, but... Uh, Still some impressive numbers. Sixty-three needed here. Yeah, thirty-nine for twenty-four is what she was hoping for, but we'll have to settle for ten for tops or eighteen for double sixteen and unfortunately falls into the four. Unlucky there. I see her kind of decide what she wants to do now. I don't think you stray away from your original idea. Just go for the 14. Yep, I had a couple people ask me earlier today, 63, that's a tough number. A lot of people say triple nine. It's a personal preference, but yeah. Yeah, definitely yeah. a personal preference. I personally like the route she went, 39 for 24 myself, but to each their own. So here we go, four, needing double two up Ooh. top now. The Madhouse. Ouch, that happens far too often. I'm telling you, it's a tough, tough, or especially when you got a, a, a partner to worry about too because then it makes exactly. it even more difficult. Exactly. Uh, she goes for the 18s there. I kind of... 72 left. I like the 20 look myself on the old Ooh. 90 there. Unlucky side of the wire there. Yeah. 
I'm making sure she's right on her math, thinking our, she's acting yeah, 30, sandy. 39 remaining? Or 40? Yep, she'll go 7 for her yep, chosen route of double 16. 58 scored, right? Should have been 58 scored. Yeah, she's adjusting the score here. Two remaining. Tricky double two here for Paula Murphy. Smooth as she's called. Oh, Smooth just criminal. inside. Scott in the chat saying I'd be willing to travel from Scotland next year, a bit farther than uh, Alaska. That's on a plane. This is in the front seat of a sports car. Completely different. <laughs> Well, we were talking uh, yesterday. We had a a uh, phenomenal shot in the chat. How about a uh, finalist uh, at this year's dart. PDC World Championships? As you said, nice third dart there. Michael Smith was in the chat thinking uh, he actually told me he had the opportunity to come, but wanted to spend a little time with the family considering he just got done uh, spending uh, some time away. Absolute How gut wrenching cool. lots, but a hell of a player. But how cool would that have been if yeah. Michael Smith just would have walked in the room here? <laughs> Little fanboy on her hands oh here. Oh, my I, goodness. That's what I told him. I said the room would have freaked out. I literally walked around for 20 minutes today taking pictures. For all the tournaments I go to, I never take pictures. And finally got pictures with a bunch of people. So. And that's the thing. It's it's It feels like so long since we've seen some of these people. And for me, I mean, I'm just kind of getting around the country doing this gig and enjoying it. But... Uh, to meet so many players that you know you see online or you've you've played with online is uh, special. Yeah. Something that got me yesterday: we were playing five of one, and you play it's like four to six players per board, and you got to win your board to make bracket. And there was a guy on the board next to me looking for. He had no idea who Larry Butler was, and I didn't know there was anybody in America who did not <laughs> know who Larry Butler was. This guy had no idea. He found out pretty quick. <laughs> <laughs> Played Larry a couple times this weekend, and he, he doesn't miss a beat. Nope. He's been doing it for a while, too. He's a very talented individual. <sighs> Absolute monster. And, I, and I've been complimenting, uh, you know, just how relaxed his throw is. i got to tell you, it's just super relaxed. No, no care in the world, it seems like, you know, nope. he throws. Nope, and he, nine out of ten times, he's either on the wire or in his target. It's crazy. It is nuts. But that's what makes you a PDC match play champion, doesn't it? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Speaking of talent, these uh, ladies are definitely talented. And Danny Warmack has a great throw herself. Yep. Really solid, sturdy. She's kind of come to form the last uh, year or two. Yep. I think she'll be making some runs at some national titles herself here in yep. the near There's future. A solid group of about 10 women you see in the finals and the, the ending of all these tournaments, and these four are definitely four of them. Well, I think it's safe to say, too, they get a lot of support from each other. They, they kind of, um, you know, we saw a couple finals where, you know, the men maybe didn't have a crowd surrounding them, but the women really came around when the women had finals and they kind of cheered them on so that was nice to see you got these handful of uh, well, a couple handful of ladies that uh you know they just kind of see each other every other week it seems like or they they were doing that for some time and kind yeah. of a coming to party exactly there's a lot of a lot of the women that play both uh, soft and steel tip so Paula plays a lot of steel tip, and you see her in soft tip leagues as well. So um, a lot of these women double dip in it, and you see them all over the place. So it's hard to find somebody, you know, that doesn't know who Paula Murphy is or has never played Paula Murphy. 
you know, or or Jill or, or um, Julie or I think you know Liz, yeah, Chris Grimmel, all of those people like play a few tournaments, you find out who they are, and then you see them everywhere. I think the only one in this group that doesn't really venture into the soft tip world is is Danny. I think she's predominantly more steel tip. That's her area where she's from. She's from the I believe Tennessee, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and uh, you know Joe Cheney, Jason Brand is from that same area. It's so just predominantly steel tip there. So. Yep, that's the first time I met Jason Brandon was in Tennessee. It's real nice guy, an absolute gentleman. And how about that bar they got there, Craftsman on the Hill? Oh, my goodness. What do they got, 55 boards or something? <laughs> you just don't see that anywhere else. No. No, <laughs> you certainly don't. Not here in the U.S. 59 leaves 60. So Danny's going to have to find a nice little 133 here, you think? Nope. Oh. Sixty needed to win the title. Double ten. Oh, just outside. <laughs> Donald corrected me. He said fifty-six boards. So I was one off. I was wow. one off. But still, either, impressive. Either way, that's probably fifty more than <laughs> any other bar in America. <laughs> Definitely so. They take care of the place. You know, they gotta. Yeah good group of people down there so there's 113 just trying to set it up now and hope you get a chance ninety three I believe so Stacy Pace is gonna walk up with double ten needed Got 40 scored there she needs to uh, keep this outside of the ten with her first dart. Use it as a nice little marker. Let's see if she can do that here. Yep. You see uh, 20 turn into double one real quick if you go on the inside. Certainly do. That's why you got to be smart, and that's exactly what no. we were talking about. It's so difficult. See, now, if your opponent was not on a finish, you'd think about busting that, but you got to go at it when they're on 76. And Danny is certainly capable of taking this out here. Looking for the 39-32 there. Take a little closer look at that double five. Tie it up. Taking a couple. If I'm a betting man, this goes away. I'm certainly a betting man. I need the Chiefs to pull off a 46 and a half over, so they better do that. Everybody right now. is a Steelers fan today. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody. Been a, been a Titans fan forever, and I guarantee you everybody is a Steelers <laughs> fan right now. <laughs> Double two. Just like that, 20 turned into double one. That's a good marker, though. She's got to hit it right there. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> she ricocheted it, and it just fell underneath. Tough look. Unfortunate. Ooh, double seven. Just some difficult looks at oh. the double here. And now we're getting gritty. Walk it in. Uh, I should leave. Double, double one. one. The old madhouse. 14, you go straight at it. You got yeah, you to. got to. You got, you got to. to here. And she will split. She just proves us wrong. Oof. She likes that double four chances a little bit better. Take a lot of opportunities away doing that, but. And 
to me you gotta waste a dart if you go at it and you hit inside you waste that dart you set up anyway look at that right in the bottom of those A's <laughs> that A <laughs> perfectly placed <laughs> double two Walk it in. Yeah. Just like that, it's a double one battle. It's a madhouse all around. Madhouse around. City, here we go. Who wants it more? Let's see here. Take the title, one dart. Oh. And I think this is, you know, this isn't mm -hmm. struggles. It's just they're, they're literally been playing all week all long. long. They're so fatigued, yeah. I bet. It's just tough to connect. To me, you have to waste that first dart high. Oh, you have to. You have to yeah. exactly right there. At least go into that U. Give yourself the chance. There you go. Tony's saying everyone's feeling it. Yeah, <laughs> you're dang right. I'm even feeling Absolutely. it. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. And I got I got 12 hours of sleep last night. <laughs> Went to charge my phone. Never got out of bed. <laughs> wow, I definitely didn't get that much sleep. That's for sure. Maybe maybe yeah. like five or six hours myself, if that. Jason, you're you're just so funny. <laughs> Jason Davis. Somebody's gonna peg this. I'm just getting visions of that 73 dart leg on the, <laughs> the BDC qualifiers. <laughs> Ties it up 1-1, one, one, forces a deciding leg here. You had to think eventually. Someone's got to hit it. Gary's saying aim right at the bottom of the one. These ladies are tired. Yeah, they certainly Corbin are. for the final leg. Ooh, double. I think she's going to pull it. I would pull it. Yeah. If it's on the bottom of the double, I'd leave it. On the top of the double, you <laughs> limit yourself so much. All right, for all the marbles. Here we go, the finals. Match deciding leg here in women's doubles 5 and one Julie Wagger, Stacy Pace, Paula Murphy, Danny Warmack. Oh, tough start there. I don't know if any of these women, I'm assuming there's a couple of them that are still in the mixed doubles after this, but this might be the final event for some of these. Yeah, I think so. I think maybe a couple in the mixed doubles, but we're going to have to catch up into the bracket pretty quickly. Yeah. This Sunday is definitely, it's a difficult day because you're just kind of feeling a little bit more, maybe a little bit slower to those board calls than normal, but uh, yeah. Yeah, a lot of people taking off, flying out today, so whoever's left usually is staying until Monday, and a lot of people that take off early and don't enter the last couple events, but I think it's worth it if you come out here, play everything, and then go home. Going to uh, hit the double there for an 80 scored. Gonna have to do a little maintenance there instead of 880. Yeah. <laughs> Jason, I'll say your name just one more time. There you go, buddy. <laughs> You're about acting like this guy next to me who 
whisper sweet nothings into the comment section when I feel like I'm <laughs> in the PPD uh, streams. <laughs> all day long. <laughs> yeah. yeah, if you watch the partners promoting dart streams every once in a while, Scott will jump in there and put on the smooth sounds <laughs> of Will Stewart <laughs> to put myself to sleep. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, we're... We've got a big support group, like in the last year and a half, two years, that uh, people that started streaming and taking off, and we've all supported each other along the way, and Will was one of the first people in the, the quarantine days to get everything fired up, and it's come a long way since then. Yeah, definitely. We were we were speaking with Ed, and he kind of mentioned, hey, uh, you know, the quarantine was sucky, but it was also kind of beneficial for a couple of us, you know, uh, I definitely wouldn't be traveling around doing this without a unfortunate thing that happened there. But uh, hey, yeah. it's kind of worked kinda out, and I think our I think the North American game has kind of rose because of it. Oh, absolutely! There's so many of the like a lot of top shots. You'll see them playing online now, to where two years ago this didn't exist. You know, so all of you'll see long format match people. You know. Canadians, Americans, people in Europe on them sometimes, but yeah, they, there's you know five, ten people that put streams out that have a lot of a lot of talented players that play on there, and you know keeps you going. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, and I think I think it's grown the sport quite a ton in the the public eye. I mean, people are able to just sit at home and throw a stream on and see what it's about versus you know not having a clue thinking you know going to darts is a soft tip thing you just go to the bar and get wasted and go home yeah you know there's a whole another side of it nice 133 there to set up 96 for julie wegger oh unfortunate there Let's see if stacy can capitalize Eighty-one, trip nineteen, sixty-two, trip ten here. Yeah, just inside. Some ninety-six left for Paula Murphy. Or sorry, one seventeen for Paula Murphy. That's what that arrow means. Will. Yeah, I'll help you. <laughs> <laughs> Ninety-seven. Oh, 90 left. Trip 18. Jeez. <laughs> Will do fish get thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I've ne never been a fish. <laughs> we got 72 left. Yep. So 52 for Weger. Does she take the chance at the 20 for her favorite double? Uh, or does she go 12? Yep. Double 12. 24. Leave herself 28. Yeah, not a terrible leave, but not what she was going for. She's thinking about it here. Oops. A little oh, premature yanked pick. Yanked it low. 72. Do you go 20 first or you go 16 first? Got to go 16. Got to go yeah, 16. That's my preference. And she knows it. 7. So you have 65. You go 15 bull. We're not going to get a look at it, unfortunately. Uh, 33 remaining. All day. One double eight. Two darts. I'm calling it. And that's the difficult thing Take there. Take that back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's the tough thing there. Yeah. See how Paula goes. Choosing to go 17 double for double eight. eight. There, there it, it is. is. What a shot there. Not going to go to Excellent. double one this time. That's right. Nope. <laughs> Well, what a fantastic 
Little final there, women's doubles 501. Congrats to Paula Murphy and Danny Warmack who take the title in this one. I also want to thank you for joining me for this one. Absolutely. Thanks Waited Scott to the Hanish. last event. Last <laughs> for last. He's been trying to kind of hop in here, and every time he hopped in, I, got, I had somebody already in here. So